Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Motaro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Moldy Superman YT, and even Dante. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out. And we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the business mega pack inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Now this video is an updated version from my last video that I did before two months ago. So this video is the updated version. Now once you have finished downloading and installing all of your requirements, download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Now this mod does require enable all interiors so make sure that you do download enable all interiors. Lastly it does require lemon UI so make sure that you do download lemon UI then we can get started. Once you have finished downloading all of your files, go to your Grand Theft Audio V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Now before we do anything, go to your skittlev.net.ini file, double click, and make sure that you change your reload key to insert. Then save your file. Next, Create a scripts folder. If you do not have scripts folder, right click, create a new file, and now rename that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder. Now we are going to install our files. Firstly, open up your Lemon UI extract folder. Go to your SHVDN2 folder, select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Next go back to your main folder, this is optional, but open up your SHVDN3 folder and select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Next open up your enable all interiors extract folder. Open up this folder, then open up this folder. Now all you've got to do is select all the files and folder except for the text files and drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now lastly, open up your TBMP extract folder. Then open up this folder, then this folder. Now all you got to do is select all the files and folder, just select them all, all of it, except for the text files, you can see the text files, okay, down over there, and then drag it inside your scripts folder. Now once that is done, click on replace. And now all you've got to do next is go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click, refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder. Now once you have exit out of your game folders, go into your desktop and now right click, refresh your desktop, and now I will see you guys in the game. And now we are here and now we're in the game with Franklin. So once you're in the game, okay, as you can see I'm already in front of the building. But before we do go inside the building, we will need to enable the mod. 
so to activate the mod all you got to do is open up your phone go to your contacts now go right down to the bottom okay go right down to the bottom and now you will see enable interiors and business helper now before we do use the mod go to enable all interiors wait for for a few seconds now change an interior now all you got to do is make sure that you do enable your business that you want to enable just say for an example right now i'm at the executive business so i will need to enable the executive business which is the executive interiors now make sure that you do change all this to true okay and now you can customize your uh, warehouse and etc but i'm gonna leave everything as default now after that once you have finished with your settings for your business all you got to do next okay is go right down to the bottom to misc options now before you do anything you must change load mp maps and i change that to true now go down and i change enable blips to true now this is optional okay but go to random color blips and change that to true once you have done that back out and then go to uh, refresh interior and now press enter wait for a few seconds now back out and now all you got to do now next on your keyboard press insert now your game will freeze for only a few seconds don't worry your game will come back now as you can see my game came back and everything is now activated but we need to do one more thing and now we need to buy the business so to buy the business you'll need to open up your phone again go to your contacts then now go right to the top and now go right down to the bottom i mean sorry then go to business helper wait for a few seconds now go to purchase a business now you can purchase whatever business you want but for my sake i'm going to purchase the executive business and now i'm going to the maze bank tower four million then press enter and then there you go now what you can do okay is that you can customize your your business for here too and your vehicle and etc but i'm going to leave that towards you guys to go and play around with okay now once you have done that you're pretty much done okay go to your business that you have activated which in my case i have activated and bought this business okay hang on and then press e on your keyboard and then there you go see it works now you can go to your garage but unfortunately i didn't open up my garage and i didn't enable it you can uh, turn on the radio if you want to or have a drink and now you can sit on your seat if you want to just press q on your keyboard and then there you go now you can check through the menu if you want to just press E and now you'll you'll see the menu come up and now you can do some missions and purchase some um some items and etc or purchase a vehicle so yeah but it's totally up to you and you can change your your business um decorations and etc but I'm gonna leave that towards you guys okay and I press Q again to exit the seat and then that's all you gotta do. So this mod still works even now and there's no issues to this mod. If you do have any issues then please let me know in some of my comments but I don't really tire. So yeah, this mod does work 100% and it still works right now okay guys so there's no issues with this mod whatsoever. And now we are back again and now we are here on our desktop. So like always, okay guys, if you do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. 
or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. So if you do need help and support fast then join my discord server make sure that you do join the PC modding support server and I will help you on my discord server because I am active on my discord server so make sure that you guys do join my discord server and now just message me inside my discord server so I will leave that link inside my description below so with that I said if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I will see you all on my next video thank you for watching Peace, and I'm out.